Merry meet all. A little bit of chaos in my place. I've pretty much got my whole month cut out for me with the newbies. But just look. <laughs> so, as mentioned in the previous post, you can just see the bumble foot on her foot there. So this is Catherine the Great, or Kitty Cat, or Cat. Can you see that black spot on the, her foot? That's a foot pad. That's a bumble foot. So that's a plug. It actually has got smaller since I've started treating her. I've had her for five days. She's actually got one on each leg. That's her right leg. So that's the, the larger one. And on the other leg, or the left leg, she's got a smaller one. No. And Suna's with them, and she has her head hit hiding underneath the boy, underneath Flint Fireforge's butt or tail. She's, I don't know, she likes hiding her, her head in his feathers. She's got such a bushy bum. The boys are crazy. It's like they've got three tails. <laughs> the silver apple yard. So... Something I've been noticing is um, Suna's been extra uh, chaotic and nippy and stressed out um, at night with the other ducks, especially with the new duck in there with uh, Tiggy Winkle. The rest, all the ducks are outside at the moment, except for these three, because we need to get on top of this one's bumblefoot and she, her leg needs to heal. So like I mentioned previous, she's injured her leg on her journey up here in the, the cage um, and she has bumblefoot so that's probably why she injured herself in the first place is because you know when it's hard to step on your feet because it's sore and you're in a wire cage it's not it's going to aggravate it um, and then you know also caged up with this big boy and the other other girl um, you know they get scared run into each other and you uh, I think it's either a ankle joint or the the knee joint. I'm not quite sure. I haven't done a full assessment yet, but it's neither here nor there. Um, it's going to take a few weeks to heal completely. And meanwhile, that bumble's got to heal. So, you know, the, bi the big thing, <laughs> as soon as head is like right in his bushy tail feathers. <laughs> so sooner. Uh, he's so protective of her. So, um, you know, keeping them inside, it, it's good for Catherine here or Catherine the Great or Kitty Cat because um, we're able then to keep her foot clean and um, keep her resting so she's not walking on it too much. Um, they, they're having re rehab in the bath, of course, in the morning and in the evening. Um, to get some exercise and you know non-weight bearing exercise and sooner as well because as you know sooner's disabled so she's been extra nippy with everybody because it's colder which means she's in more pain and she's basically just you know not wanting anyone to step on her leg or bother her look at her <laughs> are you okay mr flint you're so bushy look at him <laughs> Mr. Flint, you're ridiculous. Look at those moustache curls on your tail. They're so cute. Look at that bushy bum. Jeez Louise. He's so big. He's only a few months old. Wait till he gets to a year old. My gods. So Fawn, you okay Flint? Oh, you being a cutie. He does this thing where he drops his head down, up and down. Let me see there. So anyway, um... You know, the big box there is where all the girls go in at night, except for the new girl. Uh, but Tiggy Winkle is already part of the flock. <laughs> she's, she's, she's right in there. Um, so they all go in there. So Suna was going in there with everyone else. Uh, it's not overcrowded by any stretch of the imagination. They've got lots of room in there. It's 1.6 metres long, um, quite deep and uh, wide as well. Um, hi as well sorry um but yeah she's she's you know there's a lot of chaos coming from this office at night and a lot of it was uh sooner basically nipping at everyone because she's hypersensitive about her leg but she's as you can see she's cool as a cucumber with these two no problemo 
So I decided last night I would put her to sleep with these two in this box and uh, hardly a peep, very calm, quiet. And as soon as I put her in this box, you should have seen her with Flint. It was so cute. He was, uh, he was going straight to her and he's already protective of her. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. And, you know, she's been showing them the ropes in the bathtub. And uh, she's been showing them the ropes in general. And they weren't eating a lot, you know, stress of coming here and everything. But they basically see what she's doing and copy her. So, yeah, very cute. Look at that. Bliss. Oh, I thought I just had to share this. This is so beautiful. I, you know, I can't wait for them all to be together, though. Suna, he's a beautiful girl. He's such an inspiration to everyone's sweetheart. Yeah, you and your disabled leg. You know, she's got a, she loves his feathers. <laughs> oh. Happiness, man. This is happiness. So, yeah, we've got Game of Thrones going on in the background. I'm trying to get some garn projects done. Got a few ideas with patterns. I'll do a recording. Hopefully, I'll get all the motives done of one project. Well, many projects based on one theme. And um, I would like to do that today. So, we'll see how we go. But, um, yeah, I just I thought I'd have to share this Kodak moment. It's so cute. Yeah, she's got she's got a soon has got her head buried in his tail feathers. It's just so cute. My puppies, Mr. Flint Fireforge, sooner. No, and Catherine the Great, kitty cat. Oh, gorgeous. And as you know, as we sleep, we heal. Bye for now. Blessed be.